Welcome to TradeJournal.co. In this video, we're going to complete the tutorial to unlock the dashboard. So let's come down here and see what we need to do. First, we import mass data, which is called transactions from our brokers, if that's TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, or anything in between. So step number one, we're gonna to wanna to go to import transactions, that's right here. You can also find it on the import button on the nav and click on transactions here. Now there's two ways to do it via secure API import, which you can find here or here, or you can copy and paste from files. We'll be doing both in this video tutorial. Let's go ahead and click import transactions for now. And here you can see the import transactions via copy and paste or file. We'll talk about this in a second, but first let's go to the API sync and show you guys how this works. Here we have over 25 different brokers and more being added all the time that you can quickly connect to and import directly. These do require a pro account. I just went ahead and upgraded this account to show you guys what it looks like. So let's go ahead and refresh. And here now we can select from these specific brokers. Let's go ahead and select TD Ameritrade, which we all know will soon be Charles Schwab. We're handling that integration as well. Let's go ahead and say everything going forward from May 1st. First, we can also go back as many years as we would like, but for now in this example, we'll just say going forward from May 1st. Connect the broker, which you'll now need to follow these steps to authorize the connection. This is usually a pretty quick process. There you see it, broker successfully connected, transactions are being imported and will be added to the transactions page. Let's go ahead and view broker connections. Here you can see, you now have an authorized broker, TD Ameritrade, and all other brokers after you authorize them will populate here as well. These brokers import transactions every day at 4.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, in the next few months, we'll be updating this so it imports continuously every 30 to 60 minutes throughout the day. If you accidentally deleted some trades or you would like to import a custom time period, click on custom import, select your authorized broker and select the dates. Once completed, you'll see that in the import reports and you can go ahead and create trades out of the imported transactions. Now let's make an example for import via files, copy and paste. Here again, you can select different brokers. We'll go ahead and select TD Ameritrade, which right now is set as our default broker. Whichever your default broker is, will always appear here first. We'll also share how to do generic format import later in this video. So check out the instructions on how to import transactions. All you have to do is go to your TD Ameritrade transactions page, which you can find under history and statements and click on transactions. Sometimes going to only trades helps. And right now I have March 12th selected. So there are two pages here. Let's go ahead and copy and paste. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom, copy this, go back here and click import. And then we'll go ahead and go to the next page and do the same thing. Go here and copy and paste. Right now, our transactions are being imported. You can learn more, go to the imports page, and this page will actually automatically refresh once it is completed. Here we go, we imported 200 entries. We can now use the wizard to make trades out of those transactions. But I'm actually gonna to wanna to go to the import page and import that last page that we just copied and pasted. So let's go ahead and import this. Again, it is processing. Sometimes you could even refresh the page to speed this process up. It really depends on how large the file is. Now you can see 117 in transactions imported. Let's really quickly go to this transactions page and talk about what's going on here. So these are imported transactions. These are the buys and sells that make up a trade. So you'll see this transaction doesn't belong to a trade yet. Now it's time to move on to step number two, create trades from newly imported transactions. Use the wizard to automatically group transactions into trades for you. This process saves time while giving you full transparency and control. In the future, we're gonna allow you ways to automate this so you don't have to use the wizard if you don't want to. So let's go ahead and click use wizard and use the wizard, which you can always find throughout the website if you are ready to use the wizard. Here as well, you'll see the import reports, which are successful. You can even download the files. You can also delete the files and the transactions. But let's go ahead and use the wizard for now. We'll select TD Ameritrade as our broker and click on the default portfolio. You can have multiple portfolios to better organize your trades and statistics. Let's go ahead and add fields. 
Fields are basically things you want to say about specific trades or tickers that you traded. For example, maybe on CLRO, all we did was trade the front side and over VWAP. Over VWAP is not a tag yet, so you can go ahead and create that tag. We can also maybe add some notes here and attach a picture if it makes sense. If you scroll down, you can see that we made $32 profit on this trade where there was two entries and one exit. We can match this trade with this specific details or we could match all these trades on this specific symbol which has 60 trades using match by symbol. We can also match everything by match all and it will use this information on these two symbols. Let's go ahead and say match by symbol because maybe we know on RGLS, we are actually trading backside. We'll go ahead and say match by symbol. You can also click match all at this point because any unmatched trades will be using this new information that you added here. So it will not affect CLRO as they are already matched transactions. But let's just use match by symbol for clarity. And then you can see the wizard summary. We have 100 closed and created trades on two symbols. We'll click finish wizard here. You'll see now the transactions have trades and everything is good to go. Now we can go to our insights page and learn more about our trading, which right now we only have one day so far. And as we import more days, this chart will populate really nicely. So on Tuesday, we made roughly $1,500 and most of our profit came from these very scalpy trades. It looks like anything we held too long didn't do well. Also, it seems like pre-market and at the market open is where we made the majority of our profit. If we go to the running PL page for March, you'll see here that we have a nice chart of the actual intraday trading running PL. You can also go to the trading calendar and to see that March, we had a nice green day here with 100 trades. On the calendar page, you can also view specific stats from this day by clicking on either the day or the whole entire month. So here we clicked on the day, it is selected, and you can see some additional statistics. If your account is upgraded, you can also compare this day versus the whole entire portfolio. It seems like my profit margin was slightly less this day at 42% compared to an average of closer to 69%. So it's down 38% from that portfolio average. You can also see the trades here. Let's go ahead, make a new portfolio, create a new portfolio, and call this one tutorial. We can make it private so nobody sees it. Let's go ahead and save. Here's my new portfolio details page and my profile page as well. Also, all public trades are showing. The default is a non-private portfolio while the tutorial page is private. I can also go ahead and make my default portfolio private if I want by selecting edit. Let's go and import more transactions. I'm actually going to do a generic format. This is a CSV file where you can import any sort of data in any way you want, which are just some example transactions from options to futures, from different types of brokers to dividends, buys, sells, and everything in between. We can go ahead and import this data directly here, or we can go ahead and choose the file. Let's go ahead and click import. Now the transactions are being processed. 11 transactions were processed, which you can see by clicking this 11, or you going to the import reports. You can at any time check the status of all your imports right here at the top in the notifications icon, and seeing here 11 and clicking on that. Now you can see that we can select the new portfolio that is private called tutorial. And we're actually gonna leave the exchange brokers blank this time since we have multiple. The exchange and brokers will automatically be added. Right now it doesn't show, but in a future update of Trade Journal, it will. The important part is the information is already saved in the back end. In this imported transaction, the first one we're looking at is MESH, a futures contract that was done on Ninja Trader. These are two transactions that turned into one trade with a small win here. Must have been a scratch. We can go ahead and match this one. The next trade looks to be a crypto trade done on Coinbase between Bitcoin and USDT. In general, we like everything we see, so we're just gonna go ahead and click match all. There were five match trades out of 11 transactions. Let's go ahead, click finish wizard. Let's check out some of our open trades. 
it looks like we have one open trade with Pfizer. Let's go ahead and look at that. Here you can see an auto generated chart where you see the entry right here where there is an entry by either long or short and an exit which has not been done yet. You also see a yellow circle representing a dividend payment that came out from Pfizer. These inputs come from the transactions, which give a greater detail to the story above. That completes the mandatory part of the tutorial, and you can click here to complete it, which we'll do in a second. But first, I want to show you this manually create a trade, which is optional in the tutorial. Click here to manually create an individual trade with at least one transaction. This is great for trade planning or just quickly documenting a trade from a unique broker. You can also go here on the quick links button and say add trade single. Let's say we want to buy some Tesla on our Robinhood account and we want to DCA into this one dollar cost average. We'll put this in our main portfolio and that happened today at one share at roughly a price of $160. There's no commission on Robinhood and there's no regulatory fees for buying, only selling. So let's go ahead and save that. Clearly, we're not down $160. Trade Journal thinks you closed the trade and there is no exit, so make sure to leave this open for now. These are things that the wizard automatically does for you. You can also make it a planned trade, which means it's still just in conceptual phases. And probably the entry is where you would ideally like to get an entry. Let's go back to the dashboard, and now we've completed the manually created trade. Now that we've completed the tutorial, you can go here and click complete onboarding tutorial. You now have access to all the dashboard cards to help give you a better overview. We can cover these individually in an upcoming tutorial video. If you'd ever like to go back to the tutorial, just check out your account settings, scroll down and you'll see onboarding tutorial completed. Click edit, scroll down again, mark it as false, scroll down, save, go back to your dashboard, you'll see it back. That way you can always check something if you had any more questions. That wraps up this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoy Trade Journal. If you have any questions, check out our support page where you can contact us and also a lot of FAQs. Let us know how we did by going to tradejournal.co forward slash feedback. I'll leave a link in the description of this video as well. We'd really appreciate to hear from you. Good luck and let's beat the market together.